What is up everybody, it's Joe from JLW Games, coming at you with another cool video back in Planet Coaster. And we're going to be working on the steampunk section some more today, and actually almost completing it. Um, so in this episode we're going to get a lot of the architecture and a lot of the buildings done, um, and then in the next episode we will do some finishing touches and actually get it open to the guests. It shouldn't take too long to get it open. Um, uh, in the next episode, so we'll just kind of do those finishing tech touches in a time lapse, and then we'll kind of actually start to play the game normally. Uh, this episode, though, is going to be strictly a time lapse episode uh, because we're going to basically just try and make some progress more than anything else. Um, I really wanted to get uh, almost kind of wanted to get it done in this episode, but um, I left some of the stuff, uh, basically it's just a lot of like minor details like inside the buildings, um, but mostly the exterior today will be pretty much finished, and yeah, so I just picked up some inspiration online for steampunk uh, cities and stuff like that, and kind of worked with that with my own little twist on it, and um, obviously it, uh, I think it turned out really good, and I'm actually pretty excited. Um, for you guys to kind of see the final product on um, afterwards because um, we did a pretty good job on here and um, I can't wait to expand this land as well so that's one thing to note is that this is just the start of the land and we're going to expand it over time um, but we're basically just trying to get it ready to be opened um, for day one so basically just have it ready to be opened for our guests uh, which would be pretty awesome. So basically, we're just going to get a lot of these buildings and enclose all of the pads, basically. And there's going to be an expansion path, um, and I purposely left room for the land to expand um, because we're going to add a awesome new attraction after all this is done. And it'll probably be our next major addition after we gain a little bit of money because um, I spent a good chunk of it, probably about 6,000 or so dollars in this episode. So not too bad. And we still have 11,000 left over after I'm done here. So uh, we should have a decent amount of money to get through and we should obviously get all our money back pretty quickly as we are working on uh, using all of our money wisely, but also um, making maximize on our profits and stuff. So I got to remember that um, I did make it to where we only pay for the entrance um, and no uh, like rides are free. So that's something that we always have to keep in mind. Um, but I did do, of course, priority pass and everything for the Gears of Fear ride and uh, everything like that. But I also wanted to make sure there's a few shops in this land as well, which is why we have a pizza shop in the corner building there, and also we're going to have a just a memento gift shop here as well. And these are kind of strategically placed because they're all leading up to the flat ride itself, which is going to be the main attraction, but hopefully um, them passing some of these um, buildings and some of these shops, they'll want to go in there. I didn't do any exterior interior of these shops. I kind of kept it to just um, interior, and they're just kind of... Um, just there at the moment. Um, maybe at some point we could do interior, but because the purpose of management simulation here, we're just going to keep it just on the exterior. So um, you can let your imagination run wild of what's inside these. Um, but yeah, so I basically wanted to get this big building done. Um, that way we had most of everything enclosed, but I also wanted to include a slight backstage area, not much here, but just to kind of get us started, this is going to be kind of like a little storage building for like the shops and facilities within the land. And it's going to have a little garage door here um, for like deliveries and, and different stuff like that and have like a little service road. Decided to go ahead and add a little service road um, as well, which you'll see I think later in the video. Uh, we decided to add a little service road to get to this backstage section as well because I also want to try and have at least a little bit of backstage areas in the park um, uh, also so we're going to try and uh, do our best to do that and yeah so this building um, basically I had to get a little bit of something started um, but I didn't know I knew I had to detail uh, these walls very very much because obviously they're very bland right now so a lot of windows and 
um, different things here and there, like uh, theming wise, just to keep the theme consistent throughout the land. And um, I'm actually pretty happy of how this whole land ended up turning out because um, I've always wanted to do a steampunk section themed in uh, Planet Coaster before, so hopefully uh, Planet Coaster 2 will have a lot of options for uh, maybe steampunk as well, but hopefully at least we'll have the Maker's Toolkit to still work with um, because that is what has made this steampunk section, well, steampunk, so um, a lot of the pipes and everything are all the Maker's Toolkit and Hopefully, um, that would actually be kind of a cool pack actually to get as well. If we got a DLC, like a steampunk DLC, that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait for Planet Coaster 2 to see what kind of DLC are in store for us. But um, anyways, I wanted to do a little bit of these like little window pieces sticking out. That way, uh, these buildings aren't just flat and boring and just rectangular. They actually have some shape and dynamics to them. Um, so that's one thing if you want to make your buildings better just try, do stuff like that have stuff popping out and don't make it all just flat and boring you gotta put those details in there especially for like a steampunk section like this there's so much going on and it's kind of overcrowded which is kind of the idea and I think it looks pretty cool so um, I think we're gonna still add more even afterwards I wanted to add some lighting around uh, to make sure that the area is lit up as well. Uh, you do see, we will see that we go into nighttime here shortly, and I actually do add a lot of lighting around the area to kind of make it pop and look really, really cool at night, um, which I'm actually really excited for because it actually looks really, really cool at night uh, after I added all the lighting and stuff. Um, so anyways, um, I'm actually excited for the um, I, I actually do some lighting inside the building for the um, flat ride as well, the Gears of Fear ride, and it turned out pretty cool. We're going to add some more details here and there in the next episode uh, just to kind of finish it up and finish up the theming on the inside of that building um, because I feel like the queue line needs a little bit more theming and um, we'll definitely uh, look kind of into that going into our next episode. So. And then you have these weird, like, uh, these little bridges that connect the buildings together. And I also tried to make sure that I used quite a few different textures to keep it uh, fresh as well throughout all the different buildings and uh, different colors and textures and really just kind of keeping it, um, keeping it cool. So um, I also want to add a little bit of realism to the top of these buildings because um, the back side of these buildings, I'm going to keep a little bit unthemed and very bland because... They are the backstage areas and are the sections that you're not meant to see and that's going to be kind of the point of it so you see that a lot in uh, a lot of theme parks where the back the places you can't see are basically unthemed and very boring and we're going to kind of keep that trend and make sure we're keeping it that way but the front of the buildings the stuff you can see is where all the detail are going to go um, anyways but i know you guys like the format of me doing um, time lapses but also real time but that will be in the next episode this episode is mainly just to try and get something done here um, I was thinking about potentially putting a new flat ride in this little small space but nothing really fit and I thought it'd be a good idea to maybe just throw in a bathroom instead um, just because that way we have a restroom in the part uh, in the section as well that way it has a little bit of everything you have your food shop you have a gift shop you have a restroom you have a thrill ride and um, uh, further along we'll have uh, more stuff as well uh, as uh, of course so but for right now um, these are going to be the few things that is going to open up with the land um, because I really do want to expand this land uh, in the future as well and as well as work on and doing some other lands for this park uh, as well so I'm not entirely sure how many lands I'm going to have but as of right now we are going to have for sure the, uh, the steampunk section and I'm not entirely sure what theming I want to do for the uh, different other lands as well so if you have any ideas for like theming uh, maybe some unique themes for some of the other lands in this park please let me know in the comment section because I'm open to hearing what kind of themes we could put in and and everything so uh, yeah I think it, I thought it was a pretty uh, good idea to try and enclose all of these pads with it these buildings these tall buildings and facades that uh, just kind of pop and really 
uh, have a lot of detail, so obviously it took a lot of work, but I think the end result is kind of worth it in the end. So, um, but we do get all the roofing done and we get everything enclosed in this episode, so I'm pretty happy with that. And we get basically most of the uh, details in. Uh, there's still some more to go through in a little bit. As you can see in the back, I wanted to again try and make it look a little bit backstagey uh, where we don't have a whole lot of theming and the buildings are actually lower. Um, that way the front is actually uh, different. So um, this is where we hit our first autosave. So that's why I was stuck for a second. You can always tell when an autosave hits, it's beca hey, because the, the footage just kind of goes still for a little bit, uh, which is um, seems to happen quite often because um, at least every time we hit about an hour into the the build so because obviously i have my interval set to one hour um i hope planet coaster 2 does um, improve upon the autosave feature i don't want it to go away but i also would like it to be where it doesn't cr try to crash the game and it can save properly without um everything um going you know crazy um which reminds me, if you know, I have, I'm not entirely sure, does Planet Zoo have an autosave feature? And if it does, is it just as buggy? I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember Planet Zoo ever kind of freezing every 10 minutes because of an autosave, so I'm not sure if it actually has an autosave feature. I would have to look that up. I can't remember, so. But uh, interesting if it does, uh, for sure. <clears throat> Uh, but anyways, we got these restrooms in, and of course we had to theme up this wall quite a bit because um, for it to kind of match up with everything else, we had to put a lot of good detail into it, and it wasn't, it was just kind of a filler spot um, with the restrooms and everything, um, but we want to make sure you can't see the outside of this section, so we basically want to make sure that you're immersed in this one area and it's all you can see of course the flat ride building is massive and we had to uh, do that i'm probably going to add some more theming inside this ride and its queue line um in the next episode as the final details kind of uh, come together for that um, but i just basically wanted to get uh, all the exterior and the buildings kind of ready to go that way we're ready basically to open whenever we want uh, the details are kind of up to me and then you can kind of see that we do add some lighting effects uh, throughout the land here a little bit. And I add some extra lights just to light up the streets and make this look really, really cool. And I got to be honest, it looks really nice at night. So um, this is definitely a good land uh, that uh, to visit at nighttime because it looks really, really cool at night. So um, so I was actually really excited on, on that. Like the lighting is pretty cool. So. Anyways, oh, we have to enclose this big building. It was kind of a tough task because of how massive the building is to house this big flat ride. Um, I haven't really, can't say, I don't know if I've really done many indoor flat rides before, but this is one of the few that I have done. So it does give the guests an option if like there's a bad weather or something, there is a ride that can stay open in those bad weather conditions, um, and that's going to be your indoor ride. So. This is kind of our little take on not really a dark ride, but it's an indoor flat ride, which is kind of very unique and very rare to see. And of course, I knew I had to put the Gears of Fear ride uh, in this park in the section because it's already got like that gear theming and everything. So it matches the area very, very well. Um, I'm also looking towards potentially putting a roller coaster as the expansion of this area, but I'm not entirely sure what type of coaster I want to do, if I want to do a thrill coaster or more of a family um, style coaster, maybe like a family thrill coaster of some sorts, um, and then with some very, very good theming, um, because that theming is going to be very, very um, intense for sure, um, because um, this whole area is very well themed, I think, so we need to make sure that uh, the coaster is no exception. Um, so there might be some indoor sections, maybe, uh, along with some high-themed outdoor sections as well. Um, I'm definitely looking at something with the launch, uh, 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 for sure, but something that maybe stays low to the ground, uh, and, and something that kind of has a lot of airtime and um, stays low to the ground and is just kind of got some good speed on it as well 
Um, so I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking about going with some sort of family thrill coaster that stays low to the ground. Um, I think would be a good fit for this section, but we'll have to wait and see. Let me know in the comments section what you would like to see uh, potentially as an expansion for this land because I'm all open for suggestions um, because I would love to start planning uh, that themed section. So anyways, I wanted to make this little surface road that kind of goes into this backstage area kind of next to the parking lot. And of course, that parking lot does need some love as it's very much dull right now because we didn't have a whole lot of money and we decided to put the money in towards the park so i didn't want to spend too much money decorating the parking lot so uh, now that we do have some money flowing it might be a good idea to invest in um in the parking lot a little bit as well so we might do that fairly soon and we probably need to expand it here pretty soon as well um so that's basically going to do it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed comment like and subscribe for more amazing content like this and of course I'll see you in the next video and uh, hopefully the next episode very soon. Thanks so much and goodbye.